Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Monday, February 18th, 2019. Uh, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies are fluid, so this is not necessarily something that's going to be happening or something you'll be experiencing today. This could be something that happened in the past. It could also be something that's coming on down the pipeline, or it may just not be something that resonates with you at all. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Yes, uh, happy President's Day. So to those of you that are actually off today, I hope you have a great day. For those of you that are still working, I still hope you have a great day. And I hope you all have a great week because yeah, yeah, it is Monday, yes. Um, I just wanna put a, a gentle reminder out there. I am doing a mirror reading special for the month of February. Throughout the month of February, mirror readings are going to be 20% off. If you're not familiar with a mirror reading, check out the Twin Flame weekly readings that I do. <clears throat> I did develop the mirror reading for the Twin Flame Collective, but it can be used for anything. Yes, just make sure that when you order a mirror reading, you have some things that you want to compare because I will be using two decks to compare the energies and see how they're resonate, resonating with each other and mirroring each other. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, guys. So with all that said, let's just get straight to it. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Monday, February 18th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's see what we've got for today. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm still still a little phlegmy, still getting over this little sinus stuff from last week, but I'm feeling better, so that's a good thing. So please excuse any sniffles, throat clearing, whatnot, whatever. All right, Monday, February 18th, 2019. We do have a full moon coming. Um, I believe it's tomorrow, the 19th. Yes, tomorrow night. So some of you are really feeling that already. Um, uh, yeah. All right, February 18th, Monday, February 18th, 2019. I'm gonna give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for the day. All righty, guys. Let's see, let's see. Here we go, Monday, February 18th. 2019, Monday, February 18th, 2019, Monday, February 18th, to aw, 2019, wow, that sure is a lot, okay, guys, overall energy, we have the universe, okay, so this is a unique card in this deck, this card talks about things coming full circle, okay? What is it that you have learned here? How, has, how, how are you integrating what you've learned into your system, okay? We've got the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Hermit, the Four of Cups, the King of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and then one mystery card here in the Wheel of Fortune. That's quite beautiful. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I'm gonna start off by reading this card, the universe, just to make sure I'm not missing anything, but this is very much a card about things coming full circle, okay? So let's see here, let's see here, give me just a second. Here we go, the universe. Okay, keywords here are completion, ascension, clarity, success, and arrival, inquiry, are you ready to ascend to the next stage of your story? What is coming to completion in your life? The universe represents the peak of a soulful journey when the stepping stones of your path join in brilliant completion. After all you've gleaned and built along the way, you can now look back on all of your accomplishments and take the time to celebrate and rejoice. This is the ultimate success and spiritual fulfillment that nourishes your heart beyond mere physical needs and limitations. 
This goes much deeper. You have become wiser, softer, and more awakened, which delivers a newfound awareness of what you would ultimately like to do next. You have worked through the trials and tribulations and have gone in resilience and I'm sorry, have grown in resilience and strength, becoming a powerful co-creator of your own story. Thus, this dynamic energy replenishes your confidence and illuminates the future with shimmering possibilities. There is so much to look forward to. This really is a beautiful card to have. Um, especially with this, these full moon energies here, okay? A lot of things are really coming full circle. Full moons are a beautiful, are a perfect time for you to really take stock of where you've been. Uh, a very seven of pentacles energy. Take stock of where you've been. What are you harvesting right now? What have you sown? And, yet, and, and what has that led to what you are reaping at the moment? How do you want to proceed moving forward? Now is a time to release, let go of the past, and clear away space for you to manifest anew, much like in the way that you would harvest a field and clear that away to plant new seeds, right? Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Hermit at the top here. So the Hermit, very much so. This full moon is in Virgo, okay? And the Hermit does represent Virgo. And I want you to see here, there is a full moon on this Ten of Cups, all right? So many of you are very much in Hermit mode right now, or at least you've been feeling inclined towards going into Hermit mode right now, and that absolutely is represented here by the Seven of Wands. So what I'm getting for the most part is a lot of you have the opportunity, if you have been in Hermit mode right now, you've probably been dealing with this or going through this already. Those of you that are going into Hermit mode, in doing so, you have the opportunity to really take stock, hold true to your dreams, put up some really good boundaries that, that will help you defend what it is you want here in this Ten of Cups, this ultimate fulfillment energy, okay? Um, with the Seven of Wands energy definitely um, speaks to the Hermit mode that the Hermit is representing here now the hermit doesn't necessarily just mean virgo which is where this full moon is it also doesn't necessarily just mean um you know secluding yourself from people it also means going within and finding more of your true inner light so i am seeing with the seven of wands ten of cups and the hermit there is an excellent time right now to go within and really reassess what it is you want and put up those healthy boundaries in place for you to achieve this ultimate emotional fulfillment here with the Ten of Cups. Moving forward, we have the Four of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. So with this energy here, you have uh, many of us or many of you are using this hermit mode to really take stock and figure out what it is you want to get yourself ready to start doing the work to go after it. I am not, I'm not really seeing any action being taken right now mainly because of this Four of Cups. And yes, the King of Wands is a very action-oriented energy. But the King of Wands also knows when to hold back, when's, knows when to strike and when not to strike, okay? Biding your time, looking for the perfect timing in order to make your move. And that's what I'm seeing is happening here with this Four of Cups energy. Now, the Four of Cups usually means a missed opportunity or unrequited love or something like that. And you could be dealing with a missed opportunity from the past that you're still trying to grow from, still trying to heal from, still trying to learn from. Or conversely, you're taking the lesson of the missed opportunity in the, in the past and applying that to taking advantage of your new opportunity in the future with the King of Wands, okay? The other thing about the Four of Cups that is from this deck, this is represented differently than others. In this person, I'm sorry, in this deck, this person is, sat, is seated in a meditative state with Four Cups surrounding her, balancing out. So I definitely see this card, this representation of the Four of Cups as a balancing of the emotions. Working on um, calming the waters of your own of your own sea or your own ocean, we could say, in order to find to, to have a better understanding of how to reach the Ten of Cups here with the Hermit and the Ten of Cups. All right, beautiful. Underneath all of that, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune came out, but it it was the only card of all of these cards that came out here that fell face down. What this to me is saying is that 
a lot is happening underneath the surface in a subconscious manner, okay? So many of you are dealing with a lot of stuff right now. Um, then you're not like, like fatigue, um, irritability, maybe, maybe some wild or, or, um, crazy emotions potentially, um, feeling a certain type of way or just feeling weird, feeling like a change is happening, but not experiencing any sort of real significant, um, um, representations of that in the physical world, in the 3D. That's because major shifts, major transitions are happening underneath the surface from the subconscious point of view. The subconscious is hard at work right now, diligently, very much like in this eight of pentacles energy, which is an energy of craftsmanship, uh, perfectionism in a way, um, you know, making mass producing a lot of things, um, in a, in the same way, mass producing a large stock of some sort of product you want, you know? Um, and so what's happening here on an energetic level is the subconscious parts of ourselves are almost in overdrive, not really, but they're kind of in overdrive. I guess you could say it that way, um, in order to bring forward this brand new change that we've all been working towards, striving towards. Okay. Okie dokie. So now let's get into some clarification here. I am going to be using the uh, Epic Tarot. I love this deck. It's a beautiful deck. Um, it is available at Om Shanti Bookshop where you will be able to find me every Friday from 11 to 5. Also, they do take orders. They take orders online as well as by the phone. So um, check them out. The link to their website is in my, the description box of my videos and uh, see what they've got to offer. And Go on ahead and get you some. Okay. One more shuffle. <clears throat> and then we're going to get some clarification. So I do want to point out that some cards, there, the, there are two cards here, the King of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, that's speaking, it's mirroring, um, some of the messages that came through with my twin flame reading from yesterday. If you want to check that out, it's titled the rise of the divine masculine, um, or well, the rise of the masculine. Um, and that energy, I feel like many of you might want to check out that reading if you haven't done so already, because this kind of feels similar. This is like an extension. I really feel like in many cases or in most cases, this is an extension of that message, you know, from the divine masculine point of view of that reading. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, moving forward, clarification here, seven of wands, 10 of cups and the hermit, please spirit. <laughs> the wheel of fortune again. Okay overall energy underneath the deck you have the two of pentacles again in between worlds okay this card is coming out a lot lately okay very much in between worlds one foot in the fat pa past one foot in the future we have the queen of swords the wheel of fortune and wow the queen of cups in reverse wow that's interesting okay so what i'm seeing here for most of you What's happening is compassion and empathy or, or emotion and whatnot is not really, is being kind of thrown to the wind a little bit. Um, that could be a bad thing, but with the energies of the hermit here, I feel like that's really being kept in check because the queen of swords energy is really what's coming through the most right now. This is the logical end of things that's allowing you to go within um, and see things for what they truly are, but not only see things for what they truly are, how, or yeah, what they truly are, but um, to cut away anything that is no longer serving you. Now, the thing about this is this doesn't feel too bad. Even though the Queen of Cups is in reverse, she's still here. And I do think, I do feel like for the most part, for most of you, emotion does come into play here. But that doesn't have the heaviest weight. Um, it, that's not weighing as heavily as the energies of the Queen of Swords. It's almost as if the Queen of Swords is like, okay, yeah, I see your emotion. I get it. But let's, let's be logical here. 
I mean, obviously I'm going to take your emotional point of view into account, but I'm really about the logic aspect of the situation, says the Queen of Swords. And that's where most of the power is right now, which is pretty much a good thing. Ultimately, this is serving to bring a change. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, we have those both times here. All right. So that's beautiful. Next, Four of Cups, King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Let's see what we've got here. Clarification, please, Spirit. The King of Pentacles. Look at that. Temperance, Page of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Ace of Swords. Ah, uh, and the World. Excellent. Overall, oh, I'm sorry, underneath the deck you have the... Let me just make sure. Yes, you have the devil. <laughs> we have the devil here. And I'm needing to make sure because sometimes the devil and the emperor trip me up because they look very similar. But we have the devil. Okay. Um, definitely check out that twin flame reading from yesterday because the devil came out in the divine masculine point of view. Um, and I'm getting a similar energy from this as I did there. So the devil is being shown to us. We are seeing the truth in that, in what is the, the, the devil represents, be that being um, codependency, toxicity, narcissism, um, addiction, that kind of thing. We have the king of swords, I'm sorry, the king of pentacles with the ace of swords here, okay? Truth, honesty, integrity. You have temperance, the six of cups, the page of pentacles, and the world. So the page of pentacles also came out for the twin flame reading yesterday. So please check that out. It came out for both as the overall energy for the both the masculine and the feminine. Um, so temperance here, okay? Temperance is the art of balancing, the alchemy, patience, but bringing two sides together, okay? Two opposing elements together to create a new compound. You have the six of cups with the page of pentacles. To me, this is getting back into touch with the inner child in the six of pentacles. Some of you are reconnecting with past desires, um, past experiences, purging the past, and potentially starting over from there with the page of pentacles. Others of you, you're really just integrating your inner child and, and, and really like achieving a new level a level up from there okay with this king of pentacles this king of pentacles with the ace of swords is definitely talking about integrating the truth embodying the truth embodying honesty integrity and all that kind of stuff and from there you're leveling up to a new form of existence here represented by the page of pentacles coupling or, or closing everything out there you have the world major cycles coming to an end karmic completion is what spirit just said wrapping things up and starting your new level that's beautiful it's really beautiful okay so now getting to the oracle section i'm gonna go with the unicorns today Let's start there and then we're gonna close the reading with the crystal mandala deck So, best messages, please, Spirit, for the collective, for this reading for today, Monday, February 18th, 2019. Best messages, please, Spirit. Okay, we've got two. We've got awareness. Excellent. Which is absolutely what the Ace of Swords here is representing with this King of Pentacles. Yeah. Awareness. Live in the moment. Be cautious of your thoughts. Look for signs and guidance. Okay. And you have, ah, oh, goddess. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of yourself. Or love every part of you. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, there's a lot. Well, no, there's both. It's pretty balanced. You have the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and then you have the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, 
you have two masculine, two feminine cards, but ultimately the divine feminine energy is really what's helping drive the ship here, okay? Absolutely beautiful. So let's close out the reading with one card from the Crystal Mandala deck here. Closing message, please, Spirit, for today, Monday, February 18th, 2019. Here we go. Ah, card number 34, which boils down to a seven. Ascended Master Merlin and Mystic Merlinite. Read the energy. Ooh. Here we go. We bring you the blessing. Oops. We bring you the blessing of reading the energy. We affirm that you have the ability to read energy accurately, and we encourage you to apply your gifts. You don't have to be in control of the inflow of divine information. When a message or insight comes to you naturally, this is best. Simply being open and receptive as you intend to read the energy of the person, place, or situation at hand is enough. Whether you have been reading energetically for years or just or are just beginning your journey in interpreting energetic information, we are here to assist you in becoming confident and trusting in your perceptive abilities. This oracle comes to you with a message that your perceptive abilities are a key part of your life purpose and divine life's work. Developing Relying upon or honoring what you sense energetically is helpful for your life journey as it assists you in making good choices and is helpful for others who can benefit from your ability to see what they may not as yet to be. Oh, wait, hold on. And is helpful for others who can benefit from your ability to see what they may not as yet be able to consciously recognize. When you share your perception from a place of unconditional love, non-judgment, and genuine compassion, your reflections can help others gain awareness and insight, which they can then use to empower themselves, overcome fear, and move more wholly into love. This is of benefit to all. When this oracle comes to you, it is being suggested that you learn to read between the lines. This means listening for the truth behind the words that others use. It means to look for the truth in actions. It also means to be open to what you feel or sense or somehow just quote, no, even if it doesn't seem to match appearances, perhaps especially then. If you want more information about a situation, person, or a decision you need to make or have recently made, to know the best way to go when faced with various opinions, then this oracle brings you guidance. The oracle says that the information you need is right before you in the energetic field. Trust yourself. Tune in. You can find out what you need by reading the energy. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This Wow, this was a little bit of a shorter reading than normal. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, happy Monday. Happy President's Day. And I will see you again tomorrow for our next cup of coffee. Tomorrow morning. Yeah? <laughs> okay, guys. Take care. Much love. Mwah! Bye.